Now we're going to work on the high score and the regular score on the game over panel. And we already have the, st the text here. So what we need to do is add this to the manager. So I'm going to click on the manager and select the manager reference script. And once we're here, whenever we set the high score, we can also set the high score text on the, um, on, on the, the game over panel. But before we do so, we need to add a reference, right? So right the, after the high score text, we can do public text game over score text and then the game over high score text public text game over high score text here we go now let's save this and let's go back to unity to assign them not a problem and they're about to appear here on the left side on the uh, manager reference script here they are, I see the two known, so I'm going to select the score text from the reward board and put it under the game over score text and same for the high score text. Excellent. Let's save and let's go back to MonoDevelop to assign them. So I'm going all the way down whenever we, um, we are setting the new score right here. So set high score or is new score or load score. And actually the best way to, uh, to do that is to go to the... Um, to go in to whenever we load it, we can do it here. We can do game over score text or game over high score text. That's game over high score text dot text is equal to high score dot to string, right? And then we also need to uh, set the current score. And to do that, we can do it at multiple places. First, let's also duplicate this game over. I'm going to copy that and paste, paste it inside of the set high score. Game over high score text. The text is equal to new score. All right. That's only if there is a new high score. Okay. Now, what we want to do also is um, add it inside of the trigger script. So let's click on the trigger script. And here, whenever we set the new high score, we also want to update the score here on the game over. So right here, I'm just going to do refs dot game over game over um, score text dot text is equal to refs dot score dot to string. All right. And now we'll have the new score as well. That's it. We can save. And we should be good to go. So let's try it out. I'm going to press play. And I'm going to die quickly just for the sake of learn of seeing it. All right. And we see the score and the best score so far. So good. Now, the next thing we want to work is on the rewards. So we need to display the rewards right there, if any, obviously. All right. So to display the rewards, what we need to do is add the reward items there. So I'm going to select the reward board and add images to it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a UI element image. All right. So I'm going to do one reward and I'm going to call this one reward one. All right. So that's for the image and change the source image to the reward. So I'm going to locate a reward and we're going to take the reward dash one. Here we go. I see it. And now if I look at the game over screen, I see the reward right at the center. And that's not where I want it. I want it right there below. So that's not a problem. We can easily fix that by moving the reward so that it's inside of the reward board at the right spot. OK, so we just have to probably make it smaller already. But let's move it already. So let's move not let's not move the board, but the reward itself. Right. So let's move its X and Y. As you can see, I'm moving the X. Right, somewhere around here and moving the Y down. Here we go. So, so that would be one reward. That's that looks pretty centered. Now it's it's okay, you know, it's a bit of a of playing with it to see it. So yes, it needs to be a bit more to the okay to the right side. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna press play and see if that appears whenever we press play. Alright, so I'm gonna play and boom, yes, the reward is right at the center. Perfect. So I'm gonna add all the other rewards as well. Okay, so to add the other reward, I'm just going to right click on this reward and duplicate. Um, now, at this point, I'm just going to put three rewards, but feel free to put more rewards. 
um, and they're all inside of the menus. So I'm going to call this one reward two. Then uh, duplicate reward three. Let's see how many rewards we can use right now. We have one, two, three, four rewards we can use. All right, so let's add the four rewards. One, two, three, and duplicate four. Okay, now that I have the four objects, I need to assign them. So I'm gonna select reward two and change the source image to reward two. All right, same for reward three. I'm gonna select the source image and select reward dash three. And for the fourth one, I'm gonna select the reward four. All right, that's it. So I see all of them here. Now we need to get a hold of them and know if we want to display the reward or not. And uh, in order to do so, we need to keep track of the rewards. And to be able to keep track of the reward, let's create a script. And we're going to do that in the next lecture.